Hey, welcome back to 10 Minutes of Brand Awareness and Tom here, your host. saying 2023 well it's still 2022 but i'm really excited about 2023 and i know i know i know the hair it's different things are very different (laughs) it's been a while and um we've been in hiatus because if you remember we got started with this project because the agency which is carve at the time when we got hit with lockdowns and different things we found ourselves having a little bit of bandwidth to do a project such as 10 mba separately in our in our residences and then we brought the project together got all the way up to 900 subscribers pretty darn amazing journey so then as that gained traction so did the agency we got all the way back to productive and busy and basically the project got put on ice and now we're back we're back because we see it now as an integral piece of the future of everything that we are currently doing. All that being said, let's get to it. So it only made sense that as we go through this rebrand, we talk about branding still because, well, maybe a fresh new take, a fresh new take on branding. Maybe not so fresh, but a different perspective entirely. We were just talking last week about marketing and lead generation and all of the wonderful buzzwords that happen in the digital marketing space. But one of the key things that we had talked about is what really are you trying to do in marketing? And and don't worry, this goes all the way back to the brand. Because the, the process of a brand to me in general, if you like really zoom out, a brand is a perception. Right, and so, so Marty, Marty Neumeyer said it perfectly. Um, a brand is a perception, thereby many, many minds perceiving a brand a certain way creates your brand equity. For perception to happen or perception to take place, the brand has to be interacted with, the brand has to be experienced. Like the entirety of a brand is not just the logo, the styling, the music. It has to, it's the sum of all its parts. It has to all come together to create this experience that's not only different, but also remarkable, that it sticks to your mind. But beyond existing in the mind of somebody you want, somebody's affection, you want somebody's love, you want somebody's advocacy, on on the brand you you have to think about that as you start to create the brand or as you as you get started on a brand or maybe your business has been running but now you're really thinking about the brand because it is at a stage that is the brand is integral you can't just do without so in that conversation it just sounds so big it sounds so so it just feels so complex it just feels so far from daily operations or daily life and the immediacy of the the goal is just not when you're told that this is what you have to achieve in your marketing or your your brand or your customer service or anything in the operations when you're told that that's what you need to execute and do it is just the feeling you immediately get is you don't know where to start you don't know where to start because you're overwhelmed because it's just such a big concept so i did not want the team to feel that when we were talking when we were talking last week. So we, I had to somehow shrink it a little bit. So then we ended up with this, this conversation where let's talk about advocates, right? Advocates. When you look at an advocate, this is a person ready to defend you, ready to testify for you, ready to buy you again and again, ready to promote you without you ever meeting this person or without you, without this person even buying from you even sometimes like, One of the examples I always say is that I advocate Tesla because of what it's doing for the environment and how cool the brand is and and what Elon's done with it. But I don't own one. It's just far from me. (laughs) But I advocate it. I watch its, its videos. I share its videos. I talk about it with people. In the dynamics of relationship you just start thinking about you know all all of the things about being human centered and being customer centric you just think about the type of relationship that there are and and you start remembering what what kind of loves there are and complex relationships is friendship and in a friendship you would advocate for your friend assuming it's real and true friendship you would advocate for your friend you would defend your friend you would speak up for your friend 
You would tell everybody about how cool your friend is. You would tell your parents. You would even try to imitate your friend or your friend tries to imitate you or you, you develop this, this language with your friend. You develop routines and familiarity and, and what is friendship anchored on? Communication, trust, memories built together, experiences. And then you get to this point where you, you realize that brands and customers have a friendship. For the advocation to happen, there has to be friendship. And what exists in a friendship? Shared experiences, memories, really long talks. You keep talking, 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 talking. Friendship is an ongoing conversation and an ongoing story. And so if you're the brand, you think to yourself, what's my ongoing story with my friends, with my customers? What's my ongoing conversation with them like? Am I even talking to them? Ask yourself this, am I even talking to the customers? And more often than not, the businesses that we've dealt with for the past 10 years, they talk to their customers based on the product delivery. They call their customers when to respond to a concern. You know, you talk to your customers on the workshops. Yes, yes, yes. But you ever ask them about their experience, like for real, not to get testimonials, not to get case studies, but just to ask them about their experiences for real. Like what is the value of your product, your brand, your business to them? Like what do they find? And look, it would be better if somebody else did, to be honest, because if you did it, you'd end up asking about your business and they would end up answering with safe, neutral answers, saying things that they think you want to hear so you won't get real data. But if you do it through someone else, they feel safe, they feel like they can express themselves, and I think it is the way to go. I digress, but the main point really is, are you at the moment really talking to the customers? Are you at the moment really engaging and really just having these honest, sincere, real conversations? As you think about it, okay, everything that we do, all our communication, all our marketing, all the brand experiences we do is aimed towards developing this relationship, which is similar to friendship, wherein you call each other, you text each other, you send memes to each other, and, and you think, oh, this is apparently all that you need to do. I mean, all that you need to do makes it sound like it's so easy, but hopefully in this conversation, you, I, I, you know, we were able to shrink down the complexity of, oh, branding, marketing, you know, it's just really creating this, this relationship. And going on to the dynamics of this, which may require another video, is to really know and understand who you want to be friends with and who you want to keep that friendship with. So if you're watching this video right now, you're probably thinking about, okay, thanks, Tom. <laughs> thanks, Tom, for making it simpler, but at the same time, making it more complex. Generally, when we acquire certain pieces of wisdom or ideas or learning or knowledge, it's usually like you realize that it's really right under your nose it's so simple but it's not that simple simple but it's also complex my quest my journey here with you team is to, to, to just keep sharing what i know and to keep sharing different things around branding and on the next following segments start interviewing people start having cool people on this like start having um different types of shows and some shows i interview some really random and cool people with all 900 of you at the moment and i don't really do this to have more subscribers or more views. I do it because I feel like it's valuable. And if this gets to just even one person, great. But ultimately, yes, that's it. So hopefully you learned something. Subscribe, check out the next video. See you soon.